Hi everyone, welcome to Narish Technologies. This is Srinivas. So, in this session, so we will see one important interview question in Java. So, what is that question? Here, when we use when we use runnable interface, runnable interface to create thread, to create thread is the question. We know that if you want to create thread, we have two options. Either we are extending from the thread class or we are extending from the runnable interface right here it is sir why they have given two options so why can't we use always extending from the thread class when we use runnable interface a very important question so generally they will ask in every interview okay see so one simple answer c for example so there is a class the class name we are taking test class test class if you want to apply thread behavior to this class if you want to apply thread behavior to this class generally a simple way we are using extending from the thread class extending from the thread class so what is the uml notation we are representing with the help of arrow the so, arrow is always pointing to the class right so, from where we are extending th test class so now the test object is getting the behavior of a thread object so but in java every class is implicitly inherits object class sir why sir every class implicitly inherits object class means to get the object behavior in object orientation right every class should have means what should get the object behavior how by extending object class by extending object class so now this is our user defined class we can call it as object also a test class will get the thread behavior and as well as a object behavior indirectly so here test class test class gets thread behavior thread behavior so this is the one is okay next one sir so now i am using easier relation so what is easier relation inheritance concept parent and child relation so here here it is a parent and child relation we are implementing parent and child child is already extending parent class so now here it is our requirement is i just want to apply thread behavior for both parent class as well as a child class for both parent and child here it is we are applying the thread behavior how very simple whenever parent class is extending from the thread class extending from the thread class the parent will get the thread behavior and child also will get the thread, thread behavior through parent so multi level inheritance we know that and now thread is already extending object class so thread will get object behavior parent will get object behavior and child is also get object behavior child is also get object behavior so here in this case both parent parent and child parent and child get thread behavior thread behavior so this is the one is okay in the first case test class will get the thread behavior in the second case both parent class and child class will get the thread behavior but now so my requirement is sir in easier relation i just want to apply thread behavior only to child class but not to the parent so that is my requirement so look at this suppose 
here it is in parent and child parent and child the child is already extending from parent class i want to apply thread behavior only to child class not to the parent class so parent class is not extending thread class parent class is directly extending object class only parent class is directly extending object class only now i want to apply thread behavior only to child so whenever we are trying to extend whenever we are trying to extend from thread class it will give error message why sir java doesn't support multiple inheritance this is multiple inheritance java doesn't support that multiple inheritance one class can extends only one class so not more than one class so that's why here it has failed sir if it is not possible so then what we have to do so this is the only reason why we are implementing runnable interface here it is uml notation runnable interface is a dotted arrow extending means what is a direct arrow and here it is implementing means what is a dotted arrow in the easier relation or in a parent child relation if you want to apply thread behavior only to child class you cannot extend from the thread class reason child class is already extending parent class so one more extension is not possible as java doesn't support multiple inheritance concept so here it is you have only one option so that is implementing runnable interface so this is the main reason so when we use runnable interface to create thread means what to apply thread behavior only to child class in easier relation this is the answer okay so thank you all thank you for watching for more videos please subscribe to narishati channel thank you